Hi, welcome back to Morgan's Off the Leash. Melissa here with Piper, Rue, and Archie's running around. We're gonna head out the trail. We're gonna bring you with us. First of all, you may have noticed more new merch. Yep, pretty excited about the uh, move we're taking in the merchandise game. Um, I wanna thank Linda, a subscriber sent this to me. She made this. I love it. So I sure do appreciate it. I appreciate all of you watching, subscribing. And uh, comment. Thanks so much. All right, here we go. We're heading out the trail. It's a cold day today. Ooh. Archie, do you have a stick to take it out of the gate? All right. Oh boy. I'm off the trail with Rue, Archie, Piper. I might have to excuse me a minute. Dick Archie. Love it. Love it. Oh, look at you. Hey, Ruth. Just want to share a little video with you. I was just splitting some firewood with Mike Morgan from Outdoors with the Morgans. The girls are leaving, heading to the gym. The dogs and Hunter up at the house waiting for me to get up there and start dinner. Hey, Melissa here, I'm in the kitchen and I'm gonna show you how I make my meatloaf. Okay, I made my cheeseburger soup the other night and we had a couple loaves of Italian bread. This is what's left. It's a little hard, but that's perfect. So you're gonna cut it up in chunks. Now I'm gonna to toss it in. Okay, here we have the Ninja. I just put that on. Now I'm gonna put the top on, which On the ninja, just hit the release, brings up the handle, pull it up, and voila, ground or chopped breadcrumbs. Okay. On the canister that goes on the ninja, you can see the breadcrumbs at the bottom. This right side is the measurement for cups. We have almost two cups. Okay, let's get started. I got out this green bowl and two pounds of ground meat, put it in the bowl. Now I dump the freshly ground breadcrumbs in the bowl. and the French onion soup. So I buy this in bulk. You can buy the packets of French onion soup. I need a quarter cup, and I believe that's what's left in this container. So I'm gonna measure it and see. I need a quarter cup of the French onion soup mix, and that was right. It's the last. Pump that in. Three eggs. Okay, now for seasoning. This is one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of the seasoned salt, one teaspoon of Grill Master Montreal steak seasoning, and one teaspoon of the brown sugar bourbon, also by Grill Master. A quarter cup of the Parmesan cheese. Okay, now for hand mixing. Be sure your hands are clean, take off any jewelry. Get your hands in there, mix it up. Now you wanna get a piece of foil, lay it out flat. Yeah, so just put the meatloaf meat on the foil, press it down, you wanna shape it, no bigger than the opening of your Instant Pot. And just a dash of salt and pepper on top. Now, I set the meatloaf aside because I'm gonna peel up six potatoes, cut them up, put them in the bottom of the Instant Pot, 
put the meatloaf on top and set the Instant Pot for the dinner. I'll show you that in just a minute. Now you're gonna to wanna to rinse the potatoes, cut them up in chunks. You're gonna to wanna to have four cups of potatoes. Add them to the bottom of your Instant Pot insert, one cup of water, and now your trivet. And a teaspoon of salt. I almost forgot, I have to make the topping for the meatloaf. It's become a family favorite. You add one and a half cups of brown sugar. Okay, this next part, I'm gonna use some ketchup and some barbecue sauce. Okay, so if you think you really need a measurement for the ketchup and the barbecue sauce, start with a quarter cup of each and then mix it in with the brown sugar. See how it looks. If you want to add more, go ahead and add more. Okay, I didn't have the camera on. Sorry. Okay, so there's my squirt of ketchup, my squirt of barbecue sauce, and I did a dash of Worcestershire sauce. And mix it up. Blending pretty nice. And you want it to look smooth, like almost like an applesauce. Now, this brown sugar ketchup barbecue sauce and a dash of Worcestershire sour sauce is going to go on top but I'm gonna do it in the Instant Pot, so let me move it over there. Something I forgot to mention, the bottom of the meatloaf is the foil. You wanna poke a couple holes in the foil so any juices coming from the meatloaf can drip right down into your potatoes. So I forgot to do that myself. I'm just gonna pull it up like this and poke it with a knife or a fork. Okay, so now the brown sugar ketchup barbecue sauce with the dash of Worcestershire sauce will go on top of the meatloaf. And like I said, it's best to do it while it's in the Instant Pot so you don't have that dripping or running all over the place when you're trying to put it in the Instant Pot. In a video game. Now the dial. Okay, this is the um, first pressure cooker, the first Instant Pot pressure cooker I had. This is the Farberware. I wanna go on menu. And then meat is number five. Okay, number five, and I hit go. It'll be about 30, 35 minutes, I believe. But... All right, well, the meatloaf is in the Instant Pot, and uh, I've made quite a mess, so I'm gonna go ahead and get that cleaned up, do some dishes, and try to get the table set. Okay, the insert to the ninja is this. Um, those blades are very sharp. I want to rinse them and just going to pick this up. I nicked my finger and it's bleeding. These are very, very sharp. So if you have a ninja, be careful where you store the blade. They come with other inserts because I used another paddle insert to make cookies. But um, yeah, so just be very careful when you're washing it for even where you store it. I can store mine down below, but I have to put the blades back um, wrapped up inside in case, like, you know, time we get in my cabinets and, and play. But I wouldn't want anyone to get cut on this. Be very careful. Okay, Hunter's here. So guess what that means? <laughs> yep, laundry. He brought a basket of laundry up. So while the meatloaf and the potatoes are cooking in the Instant Pot, I'm going to fold a quick load of laundry. Meatloaf, my favorite dinner. Well, it's a good looking plate. I think it's my favorite, isn't it? It's in the top five. Beef, beef tips over noodles. One and two. Cheeseburger soup. 
and three. All right, dig in, let me see. All right, Mike, what do you think? Absolutely delicious. I think it was the uh, the best ever. I think so too. I'm serious. Very good. Very good. Yeah, I hope um, all the viewers give it a try. You'll love it. Hey, welcome back everyone. Melissa here from Morgan's Off Leash. I'm with Piper Roo and Archie. We're at the back gate. We're gonna head up the trail and we'll bring you along. Hey, Melissa here. Welcome back to Morgan's Off Leash. Here we go inside. We're going inside, both of you want to go inside too? Everybody? Archie wants to go inside. Piper? Okay, I'm heading up to the house. Uh, the girls are leaving for the gym. Hunter and I are gonna get working on dinner. Just wanted to show you a little video footage. Did you already cut it off? Yeah, what's okay. for dessert? Hi, Melissa here. I'm just gonna give you an update on the cold shower. So it's been 10 days of taking a cold shower every morning. And let me tell you, it may not change your life, but it definitely changes your way of thinking. All of a sudden, uh, you get in the shower with maybe possibly, you know, worries or issues that need conflicts, uh, any sort of troubles. A nice cold shower will take your mind to a whole new place of survival. Oh, that's cold. I gotta get warm. And all those things that I've stepped in the shower thinking about no longer exist. So <laughs> let me tell you, it might be worth a shot just to try it. I don't believe I'm gonna do it all the time but it's, uh, I'm going to do it like um, five more days and uh, I'll follow up with you again. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, do so now. I have a goal to reach 25,000 subscribers by the end of March. I hope you can help me do that. Thanks.